Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to Maria's Craft Room. I have a new paper cutter. This is a guillotine style from Hobby Lobby. It goes to 6 inches or 15 and a half centimeters. You also have your same ruler at the top and at the bottom. And it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it will hold an 8.5 piece of paper. So long ways, 8.5 by 11. We'll cut here. And it is a self sharpening blade. So I bought it at Hobby Lobby because I'm impatient and I don't like to order things and hope I like them later. This is $19.99 at Hobby Lobby. But I used the coupon, the standard 40% that you get off the app. So I only paid $12.98 for this um, at my store. This is September the 12th of 2020. So Use your coupons. The store coupons are amazing. So let's open this up and see if it works. I've gone through so many cutters and they're too big, they're too small, or they're just not accurate. So we're going to just try this. Let's see how it goes. So nice. It kind of locks there. It doesn't lock. There is no lock. But it hits nicely. It's got some rubber feet at the bottom. It's got the little little hook so you can hang it somewhere if you would like. Alright, so let's try. This is Whisper White, 8.5 by 11. Okay, so it's not going to cut this way because this is going to stop you. And the blade is not long enough, but it will cut this way. It stays up. I'm going to go, there's five, I'm up against the guard, I'm noticing there's no guard at the bottom, no stopper, so there's five, and it looks like we're following the line all the way down, so it looks like the grid marks are accurate, five and a half, following my lines, I'm just repositioning to make sure that it's going to line up all the way down. Looks like it is. I'm going to hold this down. Nice. That's a nice sound. We have, let's check the straightness here. I'm using this top as a guide and it looks perfectly straight. Very nice. So now I have two card bases. Very nice. Now, let's see. We're going to measure the actual lines. Let's see. Oh, we've got a little hand, a little grip here. Let's see if I can show that. There is a grip here to lift this. I don't know if you can see that. There is a lip. and it lifts a good quarter of an inch off of the and you can see this little handle is staying up really well nice okay so we're just gonna check the lines here looks like they're accurate it goes all the way to the six inch mark beautiful let's check the bottom Six inch mark. Let's try, let's check the centimeters. I don't normally work in centimeters, but we're going to check it anyway. And they line up very nicely. Yes, they line up very nicely. These grid lines line up to the inches though. So there's my four, there's my four, and they do line straight up. So, very nice. I've got something, this is just a piece of paper, copy paper. And let's do five. Check the straightness. Beautiful. 
What if I need to do a strip? Let's see. The two is right under here. Let's try a two inch strip. No, oh, I'm getting static. It's sticking to the plastic here. This plastic. So let's find the two mark. I'm going to go all the way down. Now that is hard to line up. Let's check that straightness. That's pretty good. Let's cut that in half. Let's go to the one inch mark. I'm using my guide, my lines now because I don't have a good edge at the top here. It doesn't extend this way. Let's check that straightness. And it looks pretty good. All right, it's good enough for my my. That's the one inch. Let's go to the other side, and that's right at one inch. So it is giving me good accurate cuts, and um, it's a self sharpening blade. So hopefully we'll get a lot of good use out of this. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and leave me comments. That does help me grow and helps YouTube show my videos to other people. I hope you like my videos. Thanks for watching.